Imagine if we can be able to send mass amount of emails effortlessly, all using just Google Sheets and Gmail. Sounds too good to be true? Well, it's not. In this video, I'm going to show you how to build a powerful, simple email automation system that's perfect for email marketing, email outreach, or just about send any bulk email needs. At the end of this video, I will test this method's capability with a large email list so you can see just how effective it really is. Along the way, I will share the tips and tricks, best practices to keep our email outreach efficient. And of course, if you're interested in more content like this, please make sure to subscribe to this channel and like this video. And the timestamp of this video is in the description below, so feel free to jump to any section you like. And if so far sounds interesting, let's get started. So now let's take a look at how to send those bulk personalized emails using Gmail email and Google Sheets. So to do so, uh, here you can see we're using this Google Workspace documentation on the mail merge app script tool. And here you can see based on this documentation, the way how it works is that we create a Gmail draft template with placeholders that has the corresponding data in the Google Sheets. And here you can see I have a draft template with these placeholders wrapped around the curly braces. And here for each of those placeholders is correspond to data from the Google Sheet that I have mentioned. Here you can see I have name, recipient, job title, company, email sent, and such, right? And here I have already included inside of the draft email. And once we have our template like this, right, we can be able to click on the mail merge and we can be able to automatically send those bulk emails. So the way how it works is that we go to this documentation and click on the make copy of this app script project, right? And then once you make a copy of it, which I have already made a copy of this and which looks something like this, and here we have our table data, and I purposely highlight the recipient and the email sent column because these are the column names that we cannot uh, change. If we want to ever change that, we have to update our app script code by navigating to the extension and then the app script. So what I did here is I dropped some columns other than the recipient and the email sent. So here you can see this is the updated version of my table. And you can see we have our name column, the job title and company and the recipients. I have blocked the recipient due to privacy reason, but here you can see we have four records that we're going to send those emails to. And what we're gonna do is since we have our table and our draft, right? This is our draft, you can see name, company, job title and such. And don't worry about the recipient here. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna click on the mail merge at the top and click on send mail. And it's asking for the authorization required. So we're gonna click on the okay. And of course the script is going to be view here. So you can review the code to see the script. So after you review the code and we can be able to click on the authorize okay. And I'm just gonna choose this account. And then it says Google hasn't verified this application, but we can click on events and go to the Gmail sheets and mail merge and then click on allow. And then it's asking for the subject line for the Gmail draft. So we're going to include this. So we're gonna click on this and copy the draft that we have. Make sure you save this, okay? And then we're gonna paste it here and then we're gonna click on okay. Okay, so you can see now that email has been sent and this is the date that when the email was sent. All right, so now if we were to navigate to one of the email that we sent, and here you can see this is the subject line for this corresponding company. And then here you can see this is Dennis, right? And this is Dennis right here. And here you can see we also have the company name right here and then the position title. And we do see the uh, attachment has been attached to this email and everything that we have mentioned here as well. All right, obviously we're gonna use this mail merge tool to send multiple or mass amount of emails rather than just two to four emails, right? So here you can see I have included more records, name, recipients, job title, and company, and this is the email send date. So I'm gonna click on the mail merge and click on send email, and it's going to prompt the subject line, which I have already created here. And I'm just gonna copy this. Everything's the same. We're just gonna paste it here and click on okay. And now if we were to open one of the email that we sent, and here you can see the email has been sent successfully five minutes ago. Okay, so everything works fine. All right, so a couple things just to wrap things up. There is a pay version of mail merge in Google. So you can send personalized email with mail merge from Google. So you can pretty much do exactly what we just mentioned by using as simple for all the values and it allows you to link a spreadsheet that contains those contact information. But the downside is that it have to be a paid version, so you have to enroll into a Google Workspace plan. And lastly, I also wanna talk about the limit on how much emails that we can send per day. So here you can see for the account that I'm demoing is using the consumer side. And so for the email recipients per day is 100 per day. However, if you're using the Google Workspace accounts, that's gonna be 1,500 per day. So that pretty much gives you an idea on how much emails that you can send per day. All right, thank you very much for watching 
And if you find this video helpful, please make sure to like this video, share it with someone who might benefit from this too. And if you're interested in more content like this, please make sure to subscribe to this channel and keep the conversation going by comment down below. And stay tuned for more exciting videos and I will see you in the next one. Take care.